friends, welcome back to another episode. Trump and the ushering of a new era for the wider Western world is what I'm going to be calling this video. And it's based largely upon the writings of one Oswald Spangler, who I think is a public intellectual that we now more than ever should be looking towards for inspiration and for understanding on the current political times that we now live in. I believe that many of Oswald Spangler's predictions in his 1919 book, Decline in the West, are coming true. Before I go further on how Trump and Bonapartism ties into the future of our political reality, I want to explain a little bit about Spangler's philosophy of history. Spangler is one of the most underrated intellectuals of the modern era, in my personal opinion. His seminal work, Decline of the West, is left less of an apocalyptic doom and gloom prediction of decay and more of just an alternative philosophy of history. Spangler dispels of the widely held philosophy of history held up by people like Hegel and Karl Marx that sees human civilization going from nice, neat, orderly patterns of ancient to medieval or post-classical to modern era. Instead, Spangler argues that human civilizations are isolated from each other, and they are independent, and they act more like what you would call organic bio-organisms. They have life cycles, like all other organisms. They, they are born, they grow old, and they become self-actualized over time. They have independent destinies of expressed in their art and culture. And then eventually, they die. I think that, and I think Spangler would also agree that the beginning of the end of what we call we would call classical civilization began with um, the rise of Caesar Augustus in Rome, um, and the beginning of the end of what we would call Western or Thousian civilization, as he called it, would be the rise of the French Revolution and Napoleon Bonaparte. Both men, both Caesar and Augustus, argued that their democracies, which democracy, you know, they, they were quasi-democratic, the Republic and the French Revolutionary Republic, they kind of descended into madness over a while as democracy ate itself. But both people said that they were going to um, inhabit the ideals of these Republican virtues and that through absolute rule they could they could tr transcend the partisan divide that had caused their respective societies and governments to collapse and that they and they alone could fix the problem. Now, that being said, Napoleon and Caesar Augustus in many ways act the way how um, President Trump does with his use of of, of exposing the technocrats and the partisan bickering and what I believe is the part is the false left right paradigm that that currently exists in modern Western political discourse the left the, the, the this paradigm is a false one and I believe furthermore is is allowing our society and our democracy to literally eat itself. We have nothing more than people just doing nothing but consuming goods and thinking, of, and, and their only sense of real community comes from either that they're Democrat or Republican or which NFL team they support on the weekends is the only sense of their loyalty and their traditions that they really come from. Then you're seeing the decline of a society in action. Trump, I believe, is trying to transcend this divide, he's trying to reinvigorate a sense of civil nationalism, and that can create a cultural revolution, a good cultural revolution. How's that? I'm going to touch on that in later videos to see where culture comes in, 
because art, I think, is such an incredibly important part of talking about history and politics in general. But simply put, I think that a, a renewed vigor and a renewed sense of our collective past can create a strong cultural rebirth in America, a strong sense of self and a strong sense of our collective Western heritage. Trump could be also beginning of a, of a transition period from Western civilization or Faustian civilization into a new type of civilization, a new era, a new rebirth and a new becoming, which I think could behold many new potentials, but also could become much more challenging in the future as well. So let me know what your thoughts are on this very crucial video essay that I that I'm making here and I'll be making more in the future. If you don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment and thanks for watching. American Bonapartist signing out.